everybody, this is Brianna Rudder and in this hair tutorial, I am going to teach you how to do the flip over quick weave step by step for beginners. If you are new here, subscribe right now to see more affordable beginner friendly hair tutorials on my YouTube channel. Also click the bell for notifications to make sure that you never miss a new video from me. The hair I am wearing is from Natala and I am wearing three bundles of Peruvian deep wave and the lengths of one 20 inch bundle and two 22 inch bundles. So here are just a couple of scenes of how the hair will look when you receive it. And also these are the products I'm going to use to install my hair. Now I went ahead and I washed all three bundles so that way I can begin installing them. Once again, I have one bundle of 20 inch and two bundles of 22 inch in Peruvian deep wave. So really quick, here is my braid pattern. It's very simple with my braids being straight to the back and my leave out being in the front area. Doing this style, you will not have a defined part. You just need leave out at the very front of your head. So I went ahead and and pin my braid and now I'm going to put on a stretch dome cap. Now you can do this style with regular wig caps if you desire but this gives better protection because you're going to be putting hair glue on your hair. So I'm going ahead and I'm stretching that cap into place right before I begin gluing in my extensions and this is how it will look. This style is called the flip over quick weave so I'm going to be showing you how to do that technique with this style. So you can also use some actual glue protectant on your hair which is also called wonder weave. What you want to do is just get a very thin application and you want to put it over your real hair. Now you can extend a little bit past your real hair if you want to but it's not necessary. You just want to make sure that you're protecting any of your hair that's exposed. You can also put this at the very front of your cap where a little bit of your scalp shows where your leave out will be. So I'm just using the tail of my comb to just smooth my hair underneath the cap. So now after applying it, I'm going to blow dry to make sure that it's dry. This forms a protective barrier in between your hair and the glue so that way you will not have hair loss or breakage. Now I'm grabbing my longest bundle which is 22 inches and I'm measuring it going on the outside of my cap because I'm actually going to stick it on top of my hair. Now my hair is protected because of the wonder weave so you don't have to worry about it. Now after you trim, you're going to check one more time to make sure that it matches exactly where you want it and then you're going to apply hair bonding glue. Now when applying your glue, you want to make sure that you're working very slowly and making sure to form a thin but consistent line going all the way down. You don't want a lot of glue because it will run down your hair and it will make your hair sticky. You want it to only stay on the weft of your hair extensions. So after you smooth a consistent line that's about medium to thin, you're then going to use your blow dryer on a low heat setting so that way you can make it tacky. Now to make it tacky, it literally only takes about 10 seconds. You want to make sure that when you touch it, it's sticky, but there's nothing on your fingers. Now this is the perfect time to stick it down to your head. So I like to start on one side to make sure that's fully actually applied. And then I like to smooth it with my fingers going all the way around to the other side. I like to stick down my hair by making sure to first start on one side and then I like to use my fingers to gently press it in and then I like to slowly work my way going around my section. Now if you're doing the same exact technique it will fit in place just perfectly but if you placed it a little bit too far on one side and you just have a little piece that's hanging off all you have to do is trim it so that way it's a perfect fit. So as you can see here, I only have one bundle installed. So now I have two more bundles to go. I have one more 22 inch and one more 20 inch bundle. Now as you can see here, I had a little bit of lift and we do not want that. Now you will have lift throughout wearing your style after about two weeks have passed since you're doing the quick weave method. The actual extensions are not sewn down, so at times it may have little areas that lift. Now I'm experiencing lift here because I over dried it with my blow dryer. Remember, you only want to make the glue tacky enough to where it doesn't stick to your fingers and have any residue. Just tacky enough to stick down so that the glue does not bleed through your cap. Now if you have the glue on your hair and it's a little too wet, it still shouldn't bleed through, but it's possible. So I always suggest that you just make it a little tacky before you stick it down. That prevents your hair underneath from being damaged by the hair glue. And make sure you're using this dome spandex stretch cap. Now I have my two bundles installed and I have one more to go at the very top of my head. Now our technique is going to get a little bit different. So I'm making sure to show you more up close scenes as well as show you how beautiful and flawless the sides look from layering your extensions when doing this method. So now what I'm going to also show you is a way that you can clear the glue off your cap. You just smooth it in between your fingers to get rid of all the residue. So that way you can easily apply a thin layer of glue without it being messy or too dried at the tip of your nozzle. As you can see, that's very easy to do. 
So now we're gonna begin starting at the front and I'm demonstrating with my fingers the amount of space that you wanna have. So I like to go from eyebrow on up to where I'm going to begin changing the placement of my extensions. Now this row here, you're gonna have very small pieces as I'm demonstrating with my fingers that will go up and down on both sides. Now at the back as well, you're gonna do straight across pieces. So no more curved C pieces like you would normally do with track placement. And also they are going to be very close together because you want the top of your hair to look full for this look to look gorgeous. So now I'm just going down one more section that's going straight across and you're doing the same measuring technique that I showed you earlier and you're also making sure to do a thin to medium sized application of glue like I've been showing you the entire time. So after you blow dry for just a few seconds, you're then going to stick it in place exactly where you want to be. Making sure to press it very firmly with your fingers so that way it's saturated into the cap. Now at this point, I'm just blow drying it just a little bit and in a second, we're gonna start off with those small pieces that are near the front. So as you can see, that fullness at the top makes the style look extremely beautiful. And right before this, I'm going to show you a couple more techniques to achieving this look. So once again, you're gonna make sure your pieces are going side to side, but you're going to switch the direction. So the pieces on the right side will lay to the right and then you will have one or two pieces that go right there in the middle of your head. So now I'm just showing you that you just want to stick it down, making sure to measure from where your actual leave out will be to the end of your cap as you can see here. You're doing the same exact technique as far as making it tacky, but you're just making sure to follow the direction of how your hair will naturally lay. So all the little pieces on the left side are, as you can see here, going in the left direction. And then when I go back to the other side of my head a little later, I'm gonna lay those pieces going in the opposite direction. So that way I have a natural flow of how your hair would naturally be on your head. So like I said earlier, you can use that Wonder Weave product that I showed you to actually stick right there on your scalp where your real hair would be. But I didn't necessarily have to do that because it barely touched my real hair, so I didn't bother adding any. But of course you can if you want to. Now we're getting closer to that spot there that you want to make sure to save for the middle. So that way you can stack two small pieces right next to each other as you can see here. So one piece goes there and I blow dry it and then I do my final last piece right in front of the cap as you can see here, completing off that section. Make sure each piece you do is getting smaller and smaller and smaller so that way you only have a very tiny amount of weft exposed when you actually blend your leave out with your hair extensions. So now after blowing it, this is how it looks and you cannot tell me this literally does not look like real curly hair growing from my head. All I have to do is blend out my leave out to help me to further achieve this look. And as you can see, this is only three bundles. I didn't actually need any more hair than this. This hair was extremely full. And really quick, I'm going to show you the amount of shedding I got. And I actually cut my extensions. And as you can tell, I only had a few pieces that came out of my hands, maybe about four or five pieces. And they're very hard to see. So you don't have to worry about any shedding at all. It's simply very, very easy for you to actually install this look. And this hair actually held up pretty well for me to actually achieve a style that lasted me for about a month or so. So if you want to look that's very easy to do and it's pretty much very easy to style then this definitely is the look for you now what I'm going to do is use a curling wand to blend small sections of my real hair into my hair extensions. Because this hair texture is Peruvian deep wave, I have to make sure to add a little bit of curl to my hair so that way I can have a flawless finish. So now after sliding it out, I'm then going to stretch the curl just a little bit so that way it can match the way the curls on my actual head are elongated. And there it goes. That's how you make your curl match your hair extensions. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish curling some other sections. And to also make this look very natural and realistic, you wanna make sure to curl your leave out going in opposite directions. You want some being curled to the right, some being curled to the left, some being curled forwards, and some being curled backwards. So now at this point, I'm going to make sure to tame down the edges of my hair. And all I'm doing is I'm using an edge brush and some edge control to swoop the very, very edges of my hair. I didn't want to put too much product on my hair, so that's why I used the brush to pick up a little bit of product to then smooth on my hair. This helps you to not use as much edge control so that way you can maintain your look throughout the day. Now after smoothing all of my edges, I like to use a hairspray that is about a one or two level and I like to spray it right on my actual edges itself so that way they can last all day long. So now I'm gonna show you a blending technique you wanna do because you don't wanna leave the hair as is. You wanna grab one of the curls of your real hair and you want to wrap it around one of your curly hair extensions. It's simply easy to do. 
I just wanted to do a couple of quick styles to show you that you do not need a defined part to achieve an up and down look with your flip over quick weave hairstyle. So if you want to see more looks like this, let me know. This style is great for those of you who do not want to have a lot of leave out, but you want to achieve a very natural look. I want to thank y'all so much for watching my flip over quick weave method. And for this style, I use three bundles of Peruvian deep wave in the lengths 20 inches and two 22 inch bundles. So if you absolutely love this look and you think it looks extremely beautiful and natural, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments what other looks you want to see with this technique. Until then, I'll catch y'all later, but be sure to click that bell for notifications so that way you don't miss any of my new tutorials that I'm dropping next. So I'll check y'all later in my very next video. Bye-bye.